presents the quarterfinal round of the Southwest Conference Postseason Classic. This is the evening session, starting with the SMU Mustangs and the top-seeded Arkansas Razorbacks. The coach of the SMU Mustangs indicating you got to think basketball. Lindsey Howell hits the jumper from the left side. The first two points of the night go are on the board. Just underway, tied at two. Todd Day from the right side. And he's an Todd Day, look at the no-look pass inside to Oliver Miller. 6'6 six, six forward. And also uh, for the Mustangs, Vernon Purdue is in. And the Razorbacks get to go down here in the early going. Mayberry out to Day for three. So the outside shooting. And here's Purdue out to Lewis inside the three-point line and Gerald Lewis has the 18-footer has missed his last five shots with the exception of that one outside one. here's Hury along the baseline Ron Hury Patterson back to Mason baseline oh what a rejection by Miller Hampton and they work it around you can tell the figure point of the offense is John Colbert in there Vernon Purdue follows the miss by Colbert Vernon Purdue with an excellent effort on the slam back in and anytime he goes to the wing Purdue left open and he hits from about six feet well the slam dunk that he had might have fired him up because he is really playing a very aggressive inside Arkansas fans getting restless and the SMU fans getting excited the Mustangs are back to within three but Todd Day is left open as he drives the lane well, he went down the middle. That so goes back outside, and Bowers nearly threw it away. Mayberry to Bowers this time for three. Good ball movement by Arkansas. To get Richardson that. is made at that time out. Mason has it slapped away and nearly out of bounds. And what a move by Bowers to keep it in bounds for the Razorbacks. Mayberry on the control underneath the Howell. Eight-point Arkansas lead with four minutes to play in the first half. Here's Colburn for three again. What nice shooting. Bob Vetketter's had two of them to make here, and they've both gone against the Mustangs in the early going. Now Miller has it underneath, just kind of moves everyone out of the way. Colburn had it stripped by Hury, and the quick pass to Howell. So quickly, here's Tony Patterson. That won't go. Quick rebound the other way. Here's Todd Day. Day with the jam. It's a 10-point Arkansas lead with a minute 40 to play in the first half. Hampton on Miller. Not there. Purdue goes over the back of Oliver Miller. He's called for the foul. Going to stay right with that right down to the end. The Razorbacks lead the Mustangs by eight. At the end of the first half, it's 34 26, Arkansas. Lindsey Howell for Arkansas. There's Miller, low post. And that'll go down for Oliver Miller, who now goes into double figures with 10. Boy, he makes it look easy, and it really is when you're 270 and you know how to use that 270. Turnover number two in as many possessions. You're still in the man to man. They don't go to the zone. That works well for Arkansas. They got the good one on one players. Howell with the basket, it counts, and he's fouled. It was not more expensive as a result. Arkansas did not score each time. Now Lee Mayberry starts to get into the scoring act. A three-pointer, he now has four for the game. Back the other way. Mayberry, he has the hot hand, but he can't get that one to fall. Does have his own rebound, and that one does drop. Lee Mayberry all of a sudden has six points. Well, you mentioned that shooter's role a moment ago. He got it because he is a shooter. John Shoemate has seen his team score only two points. Kinzer in trouble, nearly lost it, and now he throws it away to Arlen Bowers. Two on one. Here's Mayberry. Couldn't get it. Day with the follow. Mayberry today down low to Miller again, working on the freshman Kinzer. Got it to go. Count it with a foul. Fury inside to Miller with Purdue on him. That should count, and another foul on Vernon Purdue. John Shumay feels like he's got to have him in the lineup. There's Miller underneath. 
And not only is Miller very effective inside, but he showed you some very good hands that time as he was able to snag that pass in traffic and not lose it. By Home Sports Entertainment. Lee Mayberry starts it off for the Razorbacks, going with a three-pointer. That's a quick way to close, and SMU will try to cut into that double-digit Arkansas lead. Steal by Day. Todd Day, showtime. Not there. Arkansas trying to get the rebound. Lewis comes away with a loose ball for the Mustangs. And underneath, there's Gerald Lewis. Excellent pass by Colburn to get that shot inside. Good ball movement and hustle by the Mustangs. Back to a nine-point Razorback advantage. That's Kinzer and Miller battling inside again. Kinzer holding his ground. Miller just backs him away, though. <laughs> Same result, huh? Razorbacks. Todd Day for three. Day now with 18. And we're back to a point that takes it in himself. Couldn't get it. There's Mason for the follow. Mason with four. It's back to 11 point lead, but there's Day the other way. Score it for the foul. What a super play by Day. Here he goes for the one-hand slam, as in fancy. But Oliver and win for the 24th time this season. There's Todd Day again. He's closing out a career in fine style as Bowers drives and lays it in. Whether SMU goes on or not, no doubt that John Colbert has given an excellent account of himself tonight. And so have these Razorbacks. Traveling called on to 24 and 4. Behind the back to Bowers. Arlen Bowers along the baseline. SMU with the defense is it. Patterson tried to tip it loose. Here's Arlen Bowers again. Flips it behind the back. Whitby can shoot that three point. Gannon Whitby hits the three. The seconds will tick off, and the fans will leave Reunion Arena roaring. Arkansas wins it going away. The Razorbacks, 84. The SMU Mustangs, 61. John Shoemate's team closes out the year at 10 and 18. Nolan Richardson's Razorbacks cruise into the semifinal round of the Southwest Conference postseason classic at 24 and 4. We'll be back to wrap it up from Reunion Arena, Arkansas.